Hi there, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can do backups for your WordPress website. This is really important because you never know when something might happen and you lose the information of your website. At least this way, you can easily recover it. Also, this is really simple for you to do. Basically, all you need to do is install a plugin and this will automatically be done for you. So let's get started. At the moment I am in my WordPress back office and for me to install a new plugin, I need to go to plugin section and just press add new. Over here on the search box, I want to search for updraft plus. So this is the plugin that you want to search for. I'm just going to press search. And you can see that it's the first plugin that appears on this listing. It has a 5 star rating which is really fantastic. If you want more information you can read the description or even go to details. But this is certainly one of the best plugins out there for this. So I'm just going to press install now and next activate it and then I'm going to show to you how you can actually configure the settings for this plugin. Okay then. Now you can see that it appears right below and you want to click on settings okay so now we are in the settings page as you can see so the first thing that you want to change is over here where you see file backup intervals it's currently set to manual and this is really not a good idea because if you are like me what happens is later on you will just forget to do the backup for your website so you really don't want that so let's set this to automatic also, files are plugins, themes, uploads. It's not exactly the most important thing because you can easily recover this. But anyway, you always want to do a backup. So, I'm going to set over here, once I click on manual, you have several options. You can choose four hours. That means that after four hours, this will automatically do the backup of your files. You can also choose eight, 12, and so on and I'm going to choose weekly for this. Also you can choose the number of files that you want to save. You can choose between two, three, in this case I'm just going to keep it at one because I don't need more files for uh, this. Okay and now database backup intervals. This is really important. This is all of the content in your website. So this really depends on the amount of content that you write on a daily or even weekly basis. So you go over here and if you really write a lot of content, you might want to save it at 4 hours or 8 hours or 12. In this case, I'm just going to select daily. And once again, I'm just going to keep one file for this. Now, included in files backup. I'm just going to keep everything checked. I'm not going to change anything over here. And database encryption. Actually, this nowadays is a premium thing. That means that you need to pay for you to get this option and what happens is your database will be encrypted so this is really up to you if you want this or not you can also manually do this so in this case I'm not going to do anything over here reporting email uh, this is something that you really want to check this means that each time that your backup is automatically done you will receive a notification to your email inbox so in this case, my email is the one that I use to install WordPress, as you can see over here below. And now you want to get to debug mode and you want to check this, uh, this option. This means that each time that you have a problem with your backup or something like that, you will receive the information of the problems into your email inbox. So once this is done, you just need to save changes. And there you go. Now there is something that we still need to do after this page refreshes, which is taking a few seconds now. Okay, then. Now, once this is done, what you want to do is go where you see copying your backup to remote storage. This is the place where you want to save your backup files. Okay, you can actually choose many different services. You have your email, so that means that 
this will your backups will be sent to your email inbox you can also choose other services the one that i prefer is called dropbox dropbox is a website that you can use for free and you can actually store the information of your website or any kind of information on their servers so that's why i use dropbox and also this is really easy for you to get an account with it so once you do you choose this option you need to go to this link you click on it and you're redirected to their website I already have an account with them so I'm not going to do another one but all you need to do is just press this option new to Dropbox create an account so you just press this option you fill the required information so you can get an account with them okay so I'm going to put over here my information also I really like Dropbox because this means that my backups will actually be stored on the internet so if something happens to my computer or even to my email inbox I always have access to my backups so I'm just going to sign in and I just need to press allow and now I'm redirected to my website okay done you can see success you have authenticated your Dropbox account so it's done and now actually this will automatically set two files that I can uh, make immediately backups also you can see over here when it is, it's actually scheduled for you to do the backups for example for your for your files you have the date of when this automatically will be done and also for your database so once this is done if something happens for your website which I hope it doesn't but if you'd actually need to restore the information of your website you just need to click on this restore button you follow the next steps and you are done you can restore your files and your website and live happily after okay that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed and once again if you have any question related to this video just leave it below I will try to reply as soon as possible so stay tuned with ProSite tutorials and bye